Hello again. Welcome back to the shed. <clears throat> uh, what I got here after the I did a painting last night and I didn't like it so I've covered it over with black. But I haven't put, I haven't put enough uh, pigment in but it looks like it's a bit transparent. But this might might work a bit better, I don't know. So we'll have a look. I'll uh, I'll leave it like that for a bit. I don't know. Let's have a look. Just gonna get rid of some of the bubbles. Got it or not? Okay, let's see how this goes. I don't know how much you can see here, but I mean it does, it is quite transparent. Oh, let's have a look anyway. So I'm going to start off with a little bit here. This is a uh, white mica. I'll put a little touch of uh, white oil paint in it. Not much, only a little. I just, I just need a, a, a stronger white. These micas are really lovely, but the white's never, I don't know, it's never strong enough. Some of this beautiful blue. This is uh, resin for art pigments. I'm just telling you what I'm using. Uh, I bought a load of it, so I'll probably still be using it next year. <laughs> and this is a uh, green. Uh, resin for art pigments. Uh, the gold was resin for art pigments too, yeah. So it's all resin for art pigments, apart from the white, which is resin for art pigments and a bit, little bit of uh, oil, oil paint. 
and a little squirt, squirt of uh, alcohol in each of them. So I'm just going to get rid of the bubbles now and warm it up a bit. So I'm going to get it to flow a bit. Now to turn it on to high sort of speed. Spread it over this bit. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do an awful lot here. This might look, um, this may look good, and all the, all the last night's painting may hopefully look in the distance. So I, you know, I'm not gonna go crazy. I love this uh, blue, and blue green together. I really do. Okay, so that's that one. Let me bring that along here a bit and sort of up. Yeah, I did this one last night. Um, and I got like a, I just did the, the board itself, put on black and purple, just as a background. And it just looked brilliant. I was going to just leave it like that. I don't know if you can still see it, like a cloudy, the purple is really nice. Sometimes you don't need to do an awful lot here. I'm quite happy with these pigments. I'd love to try all the ones, you know, uh, whatever it is. Uh, Les Res and all that. But it's all, like so far away from the UK, it just cost a fortune. With the shipping and everything. And I know some people are trying to organize you know, group sort of orders. Maybe I will try it one day. Okay, that's that. Give that one a little bit of a going over.
That's all you need to do, you don't need to do much. I learnt this style from uh, Chris Cross. You, you can watch her on uh, YouTube, she's brilliant, she does some beautiful stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, that's looking nice and I like that. I like the transparent bit, not sure about that, but yeah, it, it's good, I like it. Yeah, so if I'll just fill it up here, that, that'll do it. Um, I think I'll put a bit of clear on this. Yeah, there's loads of people I love watching. Chris Cross, Kiss Reader, Artists Till Death. They're brilliant. So that's what I try to do myself. I'll, I'll come on, I'll do these videos, and hopefully somebody, someone will get something out of it. Like I get out of other people's, you know. Right, let me just get rid of some of these bubbles. See that? Even just that clear is making the the other colour colours underneath pop out more. <laughs> I love resin, I really do. Right, where's that to? Let's put a white. I may look a little straight, but I can always blow it around different different shapes. Right, I think I'll put the gold on top of that one. This is uh, starting to look really nice already. This is quite a quite a big board. This one. It's uh, what is it? Four foot by two foot, two and a half foot. I'm not sure. Well, it's. Uh, Would be. It takes it takes quite a bit of uh, resin. This is very similar to to one I did. Well, one of my first ones actually, and I really like that one. And I I put it up for sale, and, and it it sold, you know. And I was I thought, oh no, not that one. Uh, but you know, gotta be done. So I'm doing this so I can kind of replace similar, similar to it. See, I've, I've learned something tonight. That painting I didn't like, normally I would completely paint it over so you couldn't see it. But I thought I'll just put some uh, black resin over it, cover it. 
but I didn't want to go over the top. Normally, I put clear coats on, so I didn't want to go over the top with a with the pigment, you know, over ten percent and all that. So I've made it a bit transparent, but I'm so glad. Look at that! It, it, wait till it's finished. I bet you look really nice. do I need maybe just a bit here to cover some of that yeah. I'm looking at wear a mask by the way but when I'm doing videos I, I wouldn't be able to speak you know so for all the mixing up and everything I, I wear a mask plenty of clear left if I need to knock any more up. I think I'll leave the gold out on this one and make it mostly that blue and green is lovely. And the blue on top again. I'll put it to the side I think. Only because of this, I hope you can see all this actually. Let's have a look. I'll just show you that corner a minute. Start with the blue this time, 
and this will just about get rid of all of it all my paint like I say I've got plenty of uh, plenty of the um, clear to do more if I wanted to or I might just uh, use it up on a what do you call it pyramid or something little moulds you know I not can I? Right, let's give that a bit of a go. Though I don't want it to get too thick, too you know, too wide. This is going to look dead smart once it's uh, to put another bit of gold there. Isn't it? Once this one's done, I think it's going to look really nice. Just a bit there. I tell you, I'm, I'm really pleased with that. It's got a little something there. I don't know what's going on here? It's always hard to get these little things. Well, 
was that? Uh, Ten years. Ten years. Oh, I can't see it now. Right, there, I think. a wipe. Yep. I want to leave that like that. I'll take it down there and give it another close-up but certain areas will alter a bit you know get more kind of effects have a look. Now I'm sorry about all these lights, there's nothing I can do about it. They drive me mad. Right, I don't want to listen to that. That's nice. I'm just going up one of these uh, sort of lines. See the ones in the background? Over there? That's what I... <laughs> That's turned out really nice. I'm glad, so glad of it. Happy. Yeah, look, look at that. To me, I love this style. And it really is nice resin. Nice resin art, you know. Nice work. Works lovely. I like the black background. I like the white backgrounds as well, but... I mean, just look at these, I don't know if you call that lacing or whatever, but I just like it. It's hard to do a video of it. You probably know that. You know, that's, uh, that's in the background, that one. This bit turned out quite beautiful. Look at that. That blue is just, it looks like electricity, doesn't it? Uh, where else, where did I start? Down here. See that in the background? That bit, that's all background there. Huh? Up here. That's where I put a bit more gold on, maybe a little bit too much, but that'll dry out with some nice effects, I should imagine. Look at that. Well, there you go, look at that. I mean, I'm, I am very happy with that. Try and get a shot from here. Yeah, it's, it's very awkward. It's so big, I can't go backwards anymore. And sort of get a good shot of it. Anyway, there you go. I'm pleased with that. I hope you like it. If you do, give it the thumbs up. Subscribe and all that stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.